Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of validating JSF forms. We'll cover the following topics. We'll first discuss the need for validation. Then we'll look at the built-in features of validation in JSF. And then we'll take care of some housekeeping as far as creating a new Eclipse project for our validation demo. Now, whenever you create an HTML form, or a JSF form for that matter, you need to check the user input. So when they're entering the data, you may have certain fields in your form that are required. You also may have to validate the length of a field, say for example, the number of digits in a postal code, or validate the numbers in a range, like you'll only accept the numbers of 1 to 50. Uh, you may have to validate the format of data, like make sure it's a valid email address, Finally, you may have your own custom business rule that you need to apply for validation. Now, the nice thing to know is that out of the box, JSF has built-in features for validation rules. So everything that I discussed on the previous slide, JSF has built-in support. So with JSF, you can check to make sure a field is required. You can validate the length of a field. You can also validate if it's a number or long in a given range. Um, you can also validate formatting by using regular expressions. And finally, there's support for adding your own custom validation rule. So all of these features are available in JSF. Now let's discuss our roadmap. So there's a lot of features for validation with JSF. And if I covered everything, it would take forever. So I'm going to break it up into smaller videos. I'll have one video on checking the required fields, the next one on validating lengths as far as the range, and then I'll cover how to validate using the regular expressions or regex, and then we'll wrap it up with an example on doing custom validation. So we'll break this up over multiple videos uh, just so we have it available in nice bite-sized chunks. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of some general housekeeping. In the previous videos, we made use of the Hello World example. And what I'd like to do instead here is create a new project that we can use for a validation. And we'll use it in all, the, all of the following videos. So I'll actually show you how to create a new project for Validate Demo. All right, so let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. And what I'd like to do is create a new project. So I'll go to File, I'll say New, Dynamic Web Project. And I'll create this new project named Validate Demo. And then I'll move down and I'll set up the configuration here. I'll click the Modify button to modify the configuration. I want to make sure I have support for JSF. So over on the left hand side, make sure you check the box there right next to Java server faces. And then you can go ahead and hit the OK button in the bottom right corner. And now I want to go ahead and hit the next button to move to the next page. Um, I'll accept the defaults here for source directories. Now for web module, um, I'll keep the defaults here for our validate demo. And I'll make sure I click the box there for generate a web XML file. And I'll keep all the other defaults here on the next video, on the next slide, and I'll hit finish. And this will create um, a validate demo project for us that has support for JSF built in. So right now our source directory is empty, um, our web content directory is empty except for our basic folders, but now we have our very basic project in place. And what we're going to do is we're going to make use of this validate demo project and all of the following videos where we'll walk through examples of all the various validation rules. All right, so this, this is just a short video here. So in summary, what we did was we discussed the need for validation, and then we also got an overview of the JSF validation features, and then we went through and we took care of some housekeeping as far as creating our new Validate Demo project. So this wraps up the video on validating JSF forms. 
Here I really just gave you an overview and as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to break up all these topics into separate videos and so we'll actually do a drill down or a deep dive into each one of those validation rules and I'll show you a complete example that works end to end with the validation. So we have a lot of fun stuff in store. So stay tuned for the next set of validation videos.